Hello there, my name is Nigel Griffiths, I work at IBM Power Systems Advanced Technology Support in Europe. We're looking at the Power 9 systems, in particular the scale-out range. Now we're looking at the model S922. This is the first look. The final two in the number means that it's 2U high fits in a 19-inch rack. There's a bigger version of this S922 called the S924. It has uh, more discs at the front, more air can go through the back so it runs slightly faster, and more adapters at the back. So here's a nice big picture inside the machine. We lifted the lid off and the front cover has been removed. We can see the two heat sinks that are sitting above the Power 9 processors in the middle. We can have one or two processors in a config, up to 20 CPU cores per machine, and they're running up to 3.9 gigahertz. On the memory side, we have 32 DDR4 DIMMs. That gives us up to 4 terabytes if you take the 128 gigabyte DIMMs. We have some smaller DIMMs available too. There's two power suppliers at the back and there's four air moving devices. IBM's name for a centrifugal fan that pushes the air through the machine. At the rear of the machine there are nine PCI adapter slots, five at Gen 4 and the rest are Gen 3. We can live change these adapters if you're connected to a HMC by pulling it out of the rack on the rail, opening the lid and you can get inside to change them dynamically with the rest of the server running and then reintegrate them into your operating systems later. There are many disk storage options. You can see arrows to the eight places in which we can install a disk. We can have uh, brown spinning disks or solid state drives in these slots. We can also have two cards in here instead of the SAS to run the disks. We have two NVMe cards and each card can have two NVMe devices, so four in total. In addition, there's remote IO drawers where we can place more disks uh, or more adapters. Well, that was a lightning quick look at the S922 on which we run AIX, IBMI and Linux. Let's actually go into the computer room now, have a look at a live running machine. It's actually running some benchmarks at the moment. The one we're going to have a look at has the NVMe disks in the middle. So here's my Power 9 machines in a new rack. At the bottom I have an S924, that's 4 U's, you can see a lot of disks in that machine. Here's the S922 that we're covering today, 2 U in high. And here are two HMCs, they're the Power 8 versions, uh, working very nicely controlling all my machines. Over here is the new Power 9 logo. Here's the uh, LED and the buttons we can use to go through the menus. And here's two USB memory slots and my uh, USB 3 key there that we installed the VO server from, or both of them from. Six slots for disks across the top. There's two more that are inside. We'll see those in a minute. I'll pull out the end of these uh, spacers. We're using NVMe so we don't use these disks at the front. We use two, uh, four NVMe's inside. We have four fans, air moving devices, there are centrifugal fans in here which reduce the noise. Here's the machine type model and serial number, the power on switch and LED and the identification and error lamps. I'm showing here two little things that you pull down on the corners, we'll use that in a minute to pull it out of the rack. I'll first take the front cover off so you can see inside a little bit. We can see these uh, four bright lamps in here for the fans. They're camphored in slightly so the handle's inside the machine. If we pull that out, we can pull the fan out. We won't do that. It'll set up all sorts of alarms and alerts going back to IBM about a failed fan. So here's the two little handles. I'll pull it out. Whoa, it's getting a bit close. Uh, we'll change the position of the camera now. Okay, that's better. We're looking down a bit more now. We can pull it out the rest of the way. Nice big labels on top, the memory details are here, the CPUs and DIMM slots. Here are the, uh, the fans, the USB, the adapter slots and the disk slots all clearly documented on top. Here's the release catch, push the little blue thing in, lift it up and we can lift off the front cover. We'll show you how that it's uh, pulled out of the rack like this with it still running yeah, a little bit later. We're going to lift these air baffles out. This makes sure that the air being blown in the front covers the uh, DIMMs and the two CPU heat sinks. Zero and one CPUs or processors. These are the memory slots that come in fours uh, to the front and the back and we can see them numbered in here. You can see the different colours here, the white slots with black handles and black slots with white handles and things, they're all clearly labelled up so that you can see uh, which one is which. Here are the two extra disk drives. You flip the little catch and you can, again, we've got little spaces in here to fill up the hole. 
Uh, pops back in here, flip the latch over to lock it down. There's another one the other side. These are the two SAS controllers normally, but we have the NVMe. So there's two cars here with two NVMe drives on each. Here are the two power supplies, uh, one on top of the other, uh, much like the Power 8 machines, although they're higher rated. This is the light pass diagnostics. Uh, we can pull the machine out and press this, and it will tell you which one of the things you're meant to uh, swap out. This is the VBD chip, keeps the codes for the advanced functions, and this is the service processor in the corner. And there's the nine adapter slots coming across the machine. The over here are the two Ethernets, and here are the two fiber channels that we have in this machine. We'll see those around the back in a minute. So let's pop these air baffles back. Normally you wouldn't uh, take them out unless you need access to those two internal discs. They keep the machine nice and cool. Pop the lid back on. We leave it to about uh, one centimeter gap at the front end here. Gently push it back. Push down the handle. Clunk. It's all done. Then we release the two uh, catches on the rails to allow it to go back into the machine. And we can gently push it back in. Finally, we need the front cover. That's a spring clip push back in. And there we go. Let's have a look around the back. So here's the back of the S922, which is this one here. We can see the two power supplies. The uh, power leads are Velcroed to the handles on the back of the power supply so they don't fall out. We have uh, two Ethernets in the corner in here. We're only using one of the four ports. Then there's two sets of uh, fiber channels in here. Only using one port again. These are the two cables going to the HMC from the back of the service processor. The cables run across this way, back around here, down the cable management arm that we are very pleased with. An excellent piece of design. We can see you can quickly lift the lids in here and just pop the cables inside. We're velcroing the ethernet on the insides, the fiber channel on the outsides, and the power cables to the bottom, keep everything neat and tight. Do want to be careful with the fiber channel. They always look dodgy, even though they are quite strong. Now it's connected here to the chassis, the back of the machine here, and to the chassis over here. And you're thinking, how does that gonna work um, when we pull it out of the machine? So. Well, I'll quickly run around the front of the machine and gently pull it out. You can see how the cable management arm keeps everything running. There we go. It slips forward and it slips down that extra rail in the middle and then pulls out as it goes forward. Pretty neat design. We're uh, very encouraged with that. Very simple to put on the back of the machine, as are the rails. Excellent piece of engineering there. Finally, we have a sideways look in the machine. While it was out, we can see that we only have half of the dims in here. Half of them are fillers that helps encourage the air to move down the side of the dims. These are the NVMe cards. There's two of them, and each of them has two NVMe drives. They, four of them can be put into four different LPARs, by the way. This is the service processor, a little battery sticking up at the top. That's good, easy to change. This is the vital product data chip, and just the top, we can't quite see the top of it, the light path diagnostics. So that's the IBM Power 9 S922. First look, hope you've enjoyed that. If you want more of these sort of videos, give us a thumbs up. Comments are always useful. Thanks for listening.